raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, Katanji Brown Jackson, do solemnly swear. I, Katanji Brown Jackson, do solemnly swear. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I take this obligation freely, without that, any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. That I take this obligation freely, without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. And that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office on which I'm about to enter and that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office on which I am about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. Thank you very much. And now I'll turn things over to Justice Breyer. The judicial oath, will you raise your right hand, please? Thank you. I, Ketanji Brown Jackson. I, Ketanji Brown Jackson. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will administer justice that I will administer justice without respect to persons without respect to persons and do equal right and do equal right to the poor and to the rich to the poor and to the rich and that I will faithfully and impartially and that I will faithfully and impartially discharge and perform discharge and perform all the duties all the duties incumbent upon me incumbent upon me as an associate justice of the Supreme Court of the United States as an associate justice of the Supreme Court of the United States under the Constitution, under the Constitution, and laws of the United States, and laws of the United States. So help me God. So help me God. And now, on behalf of all of the members of the court, I am pleased to welcome Justice Jackson to the court and to our common calling. Doing a good thing today, over the last few days, obviously, is Khadijah Brown Jackson being sworn in as the new Supreme Court Justice. But I'm not going to talk about that today because we already know the racists are going to come out and whatnot. I want to talk about the people who say that they are for freedom and everything else, the Republican Party. The Republican Party talks about freedom yet it has no problem taking away any freedom from people, using big government to control people, then they have the nerve to tell their followers to fight against tyranny and big government. This is pure hypocrisy. These people who say they are patriotic Americans and love this country and the Constitution have no problem with committing an act of treason against the United States and the Constitution because of a lie. That is pure hypocrisy. These pro-life conservatives only care about the baby in the womb. Once they're born, they could care less about the child or their mother. They're against every single program like WIC meant to help families in need. This is pure hypocrisy. Pro-life conservatives want to cry my body, my choice, when it came to the COVID vaccines and the COVID masks, but want the government to have full control over someone else's body. That is pure hypocrisy. Pro-life conservatives love to see people executed. If when they were truly pro-life, then every life would matter, and they would be against the death penalty. That is pure hypocrisy. Some evangelical preachers preach hatred and intolerance, and use the Bible as an excuse for their bigotry. Yet they claim to love Jesus, but go against everything he taught and believed in. That is pure hypocrisy. Pro-life conservatives don't care about the safety or the lives of children in school. They're against responsible gun laws that would protect children from being massacred. That is pure hypocrisy. Conservative Republicans say they believe in the Constitution and the right to vote under the 15th Amendment, yet have no problem whatsoever in taking voting rights away from people or even intimidating voters and threatening voters if they don't vote Republican or vote for Trump. That is pure hypocrisy. 
These are my opinions, only whether you agree with or disagree, I call it as I see it. CTP, know the truth, God bless. Peace to the left, justice to the right.